and a warm welcome to a biomedical computer scientist who wants to go even a step beyond that, Dr. Alexander Kuhn. He dreams of a computer-based patient. Now, what is a virtual patient exactly? So the virtual patient uh, is a large computer model uh, containing all signaling pathways uh, relevant in cancer development. And we put all these information together and feed this model with personalized uh, genome data uh, we get from the patient and it's, it's t uh, his tumor. And then we can use this individualized model to, to predict the effects of different drugs. That, no, that's amazing. That means it's possible to put our biology into a computer model? That's right. We have a gen generic cancer model and by adding your personal information, genome information, mm -hmm. we can create a personalized cancer model. And using this personalized model, we can find the best treatment for you. Now, of course, I do trust you and believe <laughs> you, but I'm, I'm, we've been promised about 40 or 50 years ago that cancer would be healed very soon. Will you be able to do it? Well, I'm not sure whether we can really heal every cancer patient, but I strongly believe that we can do it much better than what is possible right mm -hmm. now. And we have some promising results uh, in some uh, research projects where we already treated uh, some patients according to our predictions. Uh -huh, okay. I mean, so far we've been treating cancer always according to the type of cancer you had, a colon cancer you were treating with special medication and breast cancer and so on. Is that your approach too? No, we go a different approach. What we do, we treat every, we take every cancer as an individual cancer, as an individual um, disease. So for us, it doesn't matter whether tumor origins from breast or prostate or colon. So we use every patient, as, it's his own control, and we only look uh, at the molecular data. Mm -hmm. And are you successful with what you're doing? Well, we, as I said, we have some re research projects and uh, one patient was, uh, for example, uh, treated uh, by a uh, rheumatoid arthritis drug, uh -huh. what we find uh, uh, the best via our predictions. That means you could also world. find completely new therapies. Exactly. Uh -huh. So we, we don't, we have to go away from the, the old uh, scheme that breast cancer is always treated by that drug and uh, colon cancer is always treated by that drug. We, we, will, we need to find for every single patient with his own drug. That is personalized medicine. And exactly. how will that actually influence medical research? I mean, will we still need clinical studies or can you do all of it in the computer? We will need clinical studies, but I think clinical studies will change a lot. Okay. In the future, we, we will do much more of clinical studies in the computer via so-called virtual clinical trials. We all hope very much that you'll be very successful. Thanks a lot for the talk, Alexander Kuhn. Thanks.